Hello, thanks for being in our second seminar, Leading Successful English Classes. My name is Margot Arley, Academic Assistant of the English Teaching Major for First and Second Cycles of UNIT. In this seminar, we are welcoming four specialists who are going to develop um, the latest trends on English teaching. We have Alfieri Avilan, Jorleni Romero, Josue Sanchez, and Octavio Vargas. Um, we also had uh, participants working on various exercises on a web quest to get familiar with the specialist topics and also to uh, brainstorm or activate some previous knowledge that they may have. Um, today we are talking with the specialist Josue Sanchez, who is coming from El Centro de Idiomas, from UNED, and he's also an EFL teacher at Ministerio de Educación Pública. He is in charge of developing the topic of the integration of language skills. During this interview, you can post your questions and we'll be glad to read the questions for Mr. Sanchez. Of course. So thank you, Mr. Sanchez, for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. It was a real nice experience. We hope that is not the last one, the first one, but not the last one because we really enjoyed the experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell us uh, very briefly what your presentation was about? Maybe you can give us like three or four main points of your presentation. Of course, it was about how can we integrate the four skills. Mm -hmm. Because when we are teaching a language, we try to, to teach the four skills, listening, speaking, writing and reading. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's kind of difficult to integrate all of them because the, the system, because of the content, but we sure can have activities and tasks in order to involve the four skills. Mm -hmm. Because when we integrate the four skills, we are preparing students to go to the outside world and we're going preparing more, uh, better the students mm -hmm. in order to have a very nice experience when they go to the outside world. Mm -hmm. That's why mm -hmm. that is very important when we have, a, when we're teaching English, that we integrate the four skills mm -hmm. because students are going to mm -hmm. be like uh, ready. They're going mm -hmm. to be ready in order to, to go and to speak and to listen and to read and to write. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course, a, some aspects that are more relevant when we are teaching the four skills is that when we are planning the activities, the activities has to be very meaningful for the students. Mm -hmm because in that way, the students are going to have a better learning mm -hmm. because when we have meaningful activities, the mm -hmm. students are, they enrich their vocabulary, they enrich the grammar, and they're going to be more than happy mm -hmm. to do another activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how can the integration of language skills uh, lead to a successful English class? It leads to a successful English class because we're going to have more a prepared st a students. Mm -hmm. The students are going to be very happy because when we integrate the four skills, the activities and the tasks are going to be more real life like. Mm -hmm. And when we integrate that kind of activities, the students are, like I told you before, are ready to go beyond. And when they go beyond, the activities are more meaningful for them. Mm -hmm. And when they are more meaningful for them, it is they learn better mm -hmm. and they learn faster. I, in my personal opinion, when we plan activities and tasks mm -hmm. for the students, especially for teenagers and uh, primary students, uh, it's my case, we have to plan lessons where they have fun. Mm -hmm. Because when they have fun, they learn better. And when I see, for example, a, a kid smiles, mm -hmm. for me it's very satisfying because I know they, they are having a good time. And they are, when they have a good, a good time, they learn. Mm -hmm. They learn faster and they learn better and they enjoy English. Mm -hmm. And when they young English, they, we are teaching how to communicate in language. Mm -hmm. Because also we have to be very clear that when we are teaching a language, I mean, when we are teaching English, we are not mm -hmm. teaching only a subject. Mm -hmm. It is also language. Mm -hmm. And language involves a lot of things, a lot of culture, a lot of a subjects, for example, when we a, teach a English, we can a, mix it up with, with social studies, with science, mm -hmm. with mathematics. So English is very, very broad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true. Today we are talking with the specialist, Josue Sanchez. He's coming, he is coming from El Centro de Idiomas and he's also an EFL teacher from uh, Ministerio de Educación Pública. He's developing the topic of the integration of language skills. 
remember that you can post your questions and uh, gladly we'll be reading them for, for him. Okay. okay. Uh, Josue, what are some possible challenges that a teacher may face when trying to integrate language skills? Well, one challenge that is very, very problematic at the time is most of the time the, the system, because sometimes the system doesn't let us to, to be very creative. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when we're planning an, uh, a lesson, mm -hmm. we have some kind of interruptions, for example, that we have to go to the lounge room sometimes. Yeah. Um, we have a, mm -hmm. an acto civico, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, also, we have a, a part, teaching parent meeting. Mm -hmm. So some that kind of aspects make our that duty very difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. And also that in, in this era that technology is very in everywhere, mm -hmm. sometimes that kind of things, a, it's kind of problematic because it is not very, I mean, sometimes we have to apply it, mm -hmm. but parents or students, they don't know how to, to use technology mm -hmm. sometimes. Uh, and technology should be a very nice tool mm -hmm. in order to, to do that, to integrate the four skills. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the teachers, they are, they're not eager to, to do it because they don't know how to, to use a, a cell phone or a laptop. But we mm -hmm. have to, to be updated. Mm -hmm. in order to integrate for skills. Okay. I understand that we have a question from one of our viewers. Yes, we first want to say hello to Daniel Vega that is tuning from Orotina. Hello. And uh, <laughs> hello, hello. And we we have two questions from him. The first okay. one is what about learning languages using technologies? What is your opinion? And the second one, should it be an opportunity? Uh, for the kids, or is it an obligation for the teachers? Okay, with the first question, I would say that it's almost an obligation nowadays mm -hmm. to use technology. Because if we don't use technology, we are going to be left behind. Mm -hmm. Because the students love technology. Uh, some parents love technology. The system mm, doesn't like technology very much. Mm -hmm. But as we as teachers, we have to implement technology. We have to use the cell phone, we have to use the laptop, we have to use computer, we have to use video games, why not video games? Everything is connected. So in this globalized world, we have to use technology mm -hmm. because we are competing to uh, the television, we are competing to with Netflix nowadays. So we have to use that kind of tools in our own favor. Mm -hmm. So of course I agree to use technology. Okay, what was the second, the second question? question. Yes, the second question was uh, referring to uh, should it be an opportunity for the kids or is it an obligation for the teachers? Oh, okay. Well, I think that in my personal opinion, I think that it's, in, it's an obligation for the teacher because the teacher is in charge of the learning process. Mm -hmm. So as, as they are in charge of the learning process, they have to Come, they have to bring the technology to, to the class mm -hmm. and to plan according to use that technology. Mm -hmm. For example, how to use the cell phone. How can we use the cell phone in order to learn English? How can we use the Netflix movies in order to learn English? Mm -hmm. So teachers are obligated to do it mm -hmm. because otherwise we're going to lose that resource and that resource is very important nowadays mm -hmm. because teachers, uh, students love the technology and they are they know how to use it better than us. Mm -hmm. So they come like, a, like with a chip already. Mm -hmm. So they know how to do it and we have to, to take that into our own advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as mm -hmm. conclusion, uh, we understand that English teachers uh, need to reinforce the use of the four skills of the language okay. because we have to prepare students to face real life communication. That's the and key. it's gonna be a challenge mm -hmm. because you need to find activities and resources that can resemble that real communication. That's the idea. That's the idea, mm -hmm. right? Uh, now, if you would like to know more about this topic or if you would like to contact uh, Mr. Sanchez, you can visit their Facebook page, right? Mm -hmm. It is Educadores Click. Click. Uh -huh. So thank you so much, Josue, thank for you. being with us uh, today. And thank you, you audience, for staying on tune. Thank you very much. Uh, we also want to take advantage to uh, say hello to Tobias Brizuela, who is tuned <laughs> into our broadcast. And also, well, uh, Daniel is telling us uh, he's doing some 
action research about the topic of technology That's in great. classes. Great. So it's very good to, to have interaction with, great. with that kind of audience. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. <laughs> have a very nice experience. <laughs>